Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another part of the Isle of the Midnight Sun challenge. And look at this turtle that spawned not too far from where Sims live. I, I think this looks really cool. I don't think I've actually seen it before. But yeah, it's a really cool little turtle that can spawn in the wild if you whoops, have the Sims 3 Pets expansion pack installed. Uh, I'm not quite ready to adopt a pet yet, but perhaps in the future we can adopt it and name like maybe like Tommy the Turtle after Tommy the Turtle from the Sonic Archie comics. I don't know. Hey, I mean, we have uh, Brock in our Roaring Heights Let's Play, so yeah. Screech has to be saved to the Sims 3 game launch. And yeah, look, we can finally afford the glass blowing station. This will be a really interesting way to make money. And look at that water puddle over there. It looks like all warped and stuff. And then, um,. Over here, I finally added a sig, and I also put a sleeping bag for a kid, Courtney, and um, yeah, just shuffled the stove and the counter around there, and um, I think that was all I changed. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> other than the biggest thing being Courtney's appearance, so yeah, she looks way better now, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, actually, hold on a second. I'll try to remember. You know what? My memory is really bad right now. I don't remember where her clothes were from. I know her hair is from Island Paradise. And her pants uh, are also from Island Paradise. I don't recall where the, where the top was from. I think it was either Island Paradise or The Sims 3 Storm. <laughs> I, I don't know which set, though. Um, so let's get this started now. I think that puddle has gotten bigger since the last time. Wow. I really love these little effects. Okay. Ah, another university welcome kit. Okay, so, um, this is a weird thing that started happening recently. I think it's happening in all my saves, but it's definitely been happening in this one, where every time I start up the game, I get another university welcome kit. So I sold, like, half a dozen before the last episode. Or no, it wasn't before the last episode. It was actually after I finished recording the last episode, so, uh... Yeah, very strange indeed. So yeah, we finally have a new way to make simoleons. So um, yeah, I'll just make her get up and then do her morning routine real quick. And then we can finally do something interesting. Really interesting. As long as our sims don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> oh man, it just reminds me of how Taylor in my Roaring Heights Let's Play got struck by lightning uh, while he was working on his uh, classic car. It wasn't like in the middle of the action, but then he, I think he stopped and then he got struck by lightning. Because <laughs> that's just how Sims 3 logic works. Hopefully in The Sims 4 things can be more dynamic where it's like, if you're right in the middle of uh, tinkering with your car, then you can get hit by lightning in the middle of the action instead of it like canceling out and then Oh, I'm canceling this thing because I have to get struck by lightning. That's not realistic at all. So, um, I don't know what to start first. I don't know what makes the most money. Let's just smelt metals. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. Never mind. I have to actually get a metal first. Oops, stupid me. Okay, um, fast utensil receptacle. Okay. Um,. I guess I could check to see if there's any metals around. Ooh, I like I like this for some reason. This looks kind of cool. Never really noticed this rock formation. Yeah, I haven't really looked around the back of the island. Maybe there's something really interesting. Who knows? There's a little path over here. Hmm. I don't see any fishing spawners, and I don't really see any spawners at all, really. Um, if you look around here. Uh, oh, there's, oh, yeah, there's some space rocks over here, at least. We should probably get those. Wait, maybe we can make Johnny quickly collect them. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The phone rang, so, um, yeah, let's get back into this. Uh, I don't know. She looks kind of cool just getting that out. Okay, put it in the glass. Yeah, blow the glass. Wow, she barely like picked it up and she got to level one. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> um, 
Okay, good. He's getting those space rocks. I guess we can sell those for money. I forgot how fast that skill builds at the beginning. Goodness gracious. Tiny space rock, tiny space rock. Using the skill level 2. Okay. Yeah, sell. Or wait, let's analyze them all just in case they're worth a lot more somehow. Oh, okay, did you sell it? Worth 40 simoleons. Okay. Uh, wait, is it in our inventory? Ooh. Actually, let's take a quick look at them before we sell. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. I almost don't want to sell it. <laughs> well, I don't know. We might make better looking ones. Just sell it anyways. Okay. Routing failure! Yeah! Seriously, this like happens every video. Okay, um, uh... Hmm, what should we make? I don't know. Oh, there we go. There's another routing failure. Let's make a glass partition for some reason. Uh, oh, he's swimming. Oh, if you look at that. Looks kind of cool, but also dangerous. Good thing Sims can't die while swimming in the ocean. Okay, let's just have you go home. It's probably going to take a... Yep, yeah, of course it's going to take a taxi boat. <laughs> Sims logic, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. No taxi boats. In Dunog makes no sense. Okay. Um, let's just watch Tracy make more glass. Do, 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 do. Level 4 already. Goodness. Awesome. She's going to be raking in the big ones hopefully soon. Be even better than a writing skill. 60 simoleons. Yes, we are moving up. Let's sell that. What is with your routing failures, Tracy? Gosh, this episode especially. Um, make a coin bracelet. Let's see how much that was worth. Actually, it probably won't be worth as much. Uh, okay, just quickly finish making that, and then you can eat. Man, that lighting though. Okay, that's a mandatory lighting mod reference, or just fa being fascinated by lighting. Whoa! 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 Okay, I just need a minute. Okay. <laughs> 500 simoleons for that one thing. Awesome, we have to sell that. Wow, we're already making our money back from, from like, <laughs> buying the sink and putting the glass pulling station. Wow. What? Tracy! Look at all that room. There's no trouble. What? Freaking Tracy! Can you even go here? Okay, yes. Yes, you can go there. What's the big problem? Oh my gosh! Seriously! It's not that bad! It's like Sims don't even want to walk anymore. They're even lazier than I am. Gosh. They're, she's just making excuses for not wanting to walk and use her legs. It's weird. I mean, she's a, she's an agent of the Future Protection Agency, which means she, she's trained rigorously, rigorously for years, physically and mentally. So she's had no issues with walking. Gosh. So stupid. Okay, um, now what should she do? Oh, okay, she still is pretty good with stuff. Um, she's gonna share a secret with her daughter. Apparently no school to attend in this town. Oh, she's in her swimwear. I guess we didn't catch her swimming earlier. But that's her swimwear. I think I changed every outfit except athletic. I think. I think that was the only one I left alone. Otherwise, I did change all of her default clothing to something much better. Um, oh, their relationship, I forgot, is already at like 100. So, uh, let's make another accessory, I guess. Sunburst. What is with my words? Sunburst. Not sunburst. What the heck is a sunburst? 
I have no idea. Make it a hashtag, people, because I don't know. Look at that lighting. I guess that could also be a hashtag, too. I don't really notice other people doing that in their Let's Plays. It's unfortunate. I don't know. I'm not even sure what I'm talking about anymore. But, yeah, I seem to be the only Let's Player who keeps marveling at the lighting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Lighting mods just give me life. Um... Okay. Come on, let's finish this. Let's finish this! Da -da 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 -da. Play epic music. Oh no, what happened? Oh, it's only normal quality. And now they're gonna make out and woohoo in front of the glass blowing station. No, they're just gonna do a dip kiss. Which is still romantic. Okay, uh... She still have a lot of energy left? Okay, she's good for a while longer. Uh... I wonder how much the perfume is worth. Let's do Once Forgotten. Once forgotten, always forgotten. Um, yeah, I don't know how it actually goes. Oh, level six. All right. Ah, uh, it's only fifty simoleons. We, don't, I think, we just got lucky with that one accessory. <laughs> she keeps wanting to dip kiss her. Uh, maybe if we just keep uh, making the partitions. Maybe because it's a bigger object, it'll just be worth more. <laughs> and I saw the dragon egg in the menu, that just reminds me of my venue where I was like, oh, it was like a review where I was like, oh, I'm kind of disappointed in how the glass dragon egg doesn't hatch into a glass dragon because, in case you didn't know, uh, dragons are premium content with uh, Dragon Valley as well as the Renaissance Fair venue. And they're awesome, awesome objects slash pets. But I just don't get to use them that often because they don't really fit in any other world other than Dragon Valley. Unless you're counting custom worlds, then there could be like some custom worlds perhaps that may sort of be able to use dragons if you stretch your imagination and pretend it's in the past. Like There's one world called Chestershire that I have to check out again. I'm, I might consider putting that on the list for my world showcases, but that's not the next one. The next one's going to be a pretty interesting one. It's going to be a base game only world. So um, yeah, those of you who don't um, have a lot of expansion packs or n not even any at all, <laughs> poor souls who don't have any expansion packs, I feel very sorry for you because the game must feel very empty even with swimming in the ocean stuff they had with the patch updates. But anyways, yeah, it's a good world for those who uh, can't afford expansion packs. Um, Oh, even that isn't worth too much. But, oh well, we can still rack it up. Oh, we forgot to tell Johnny to go fishing because we were so absorbed in glass blowing. Um, oh, wait, he still has some fish to sell. Okay, I don't remember if I forgot to sell those or what. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, sell these. Oh, 56 million is not bad. We're, whoa, we're already over 1k again. That's awesome. Uh, okay. Change back into your everyday. Um, wait, is there a fruit that you could just quickly eat? Um, yeah, just like eat a tom tomato or a tomato, whatever you want to call it. Um, go over here um, and fish. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's like when she wants to go from the glass blowing station to the the little shack. Or at least certain objects within the shack. She's like, no, I can't walk there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even when I make her just go here, it doesn't work. But then when I do that, then it works. It makes no sense to me. Oh, well, at least she didn't pee herself. That's good. That's always good. Um. Okay. Wait, who's? Oh, okay. Yeah. I figured that'd be Courtney. Should actually, um. Oh, wait, never mind. We can't make sleeping bags uh, assigned to a sim, unfortunately. Oh, well, after this part, I'll probably replace it with an actual bed, so there will be no problem with that. Um. Okay. So he's. 
fishing. Fishing, fishing, fishing in the dark. How can he even see where he cast it? I don't know. Okay. Well, this kind of reminds me of Limbo a little bit, where, I don't know, it's just the whole shadowed out figure against the background that has more color. <laughs> it's not exactly like Limbo, but it definitely reminds me of it. Uh, 30 simoleons, okay. Uh, just quickly sell that and sell that one. Yep, we have almost as much money as first had, at least when I was about to place the glass blowing station. I don't remember how much money I had when uh, I placed all the other stuff because that was like a few days ago when I set up everything else. Uh, okay. Johnny, come on. Catch some stuff. Alrighty. At least 30 simoleons. I guess we can make him learn cooking still. Why not? I'm gonna make him fish some more. Oh, wait a second. Um, maybe... I think piranha is bait for something, isn't it? Oh, wait, it might have just been robot fish. Well, we'll see if the piranha brings results. Maybe I should uh, look at the Carl Sims 3 guide again. Love Day is here! Oh, okay. Well, he seems to be catching fish faster, or maybe he's just lucky. Oh, the sun is rising. Okay, yeah, now his sleep schedule is going to be thrown off again. Whoops. Piranha. Uh, wait, actually I want to see the sunrise again. I don't know why, it just never gets old for me. Well, I guess the Fresh Cut Daylighting mod eventually got old for me, but that was after many, many months of playing. Hey, is he standing on the water? Of course he's standing on the water. Sims logic. Okay, got a nice shark. Oh, maybe it is giving results. The uh, piranha bait, I mean. Got his biggest lobster ever. Okay. Um, I think that's enough. Let's just have him go to sleep if... Uh, oh, okay, she is in there, so there is room in the tent. And she's almost awake, but um, I think I'm going to end this part soon. Maybe we'll just harvest and tend this garden very quickly. Oh, she was in her swimwear because of the shower, probably. Okay, makes sense. Oh, she got that snug as a bug move. I love that. So cozy and snuggly. She could stay in here forever. From sleeping bag. And now she's gonna play with her imaginary friend again. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we probably should give her another hobby soon, other than playing with her imaginary friend all day. Or we can make her just, like, I don't know, splash around in the ocean? Or, wait, we could even build a sand castle. Yeah, let's have her play in the sand. There we go. That's the thing she can do. Take advantage of the land. Oh no, some of them are, like, wilting. Okay, da 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 Keep harvesting those plants. Yeah, this is, see, this is the reason why I don't always just do the 10 garden thing because then sometimes I just forget about the sim and then they just um, have their hygiene dropped all the way to the bottom and then I'm like, no, I didn't mean for you to do all of that. I just wanted you to harvest the plants. <laughs> but there was enough this time to justify it, I think. Oh, she's already done it? That was fast? Wow, okay. Well, there we go, there's her first sand castle. <laughs> okay, she's eating pancakes. Uh, oh, okay, now Tracy's gonna do something with it. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, she's just gonna ruin her daughter's work. Wow. Really, no sense of etiquette. Oops. Am I going in? Ah, I can go underground! Woo! No, I'm not gonna keep doing that. That would feel really strange. In a bad way. I wonder what Tracy will make. Oh, okay, now she's gonna play. No, oh, we gotta give you something else to do. Just, uh, just, I don't know, skip stones. <laughs> There's a whole ocean over there that you could do stuff with. Even though we don't have a dive lot yet. Oh. Right! We could make her build up her snorkeling skill, or scuba diving skill, but it starts off with snorkeling for kids, so... Um, yeah, then she could take advantage of the dive lot when she's older. That'd be fantastic, because, yeah, uh, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but, uh, at some point I do want to build a dive lot for this world so that there will be a little bit more to do. Just to, uh, change things up a bit once this challenge starts getting a little bit repetitive, because that's what other simmers who have done this, uh, challenge on YouTube have told me, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Johnny, what's up? Okay. He's gonna sleep for a bit longer and then make him eat. Oh, she built something a little bit better. <laughs> There's Courtney swimming in the background. Wait, is she just swimming? Or is she gonna snorkel soon? Okay, uh... Is she gonna change it to her snorkeling outfit? There we go. Alrighty. Oh, and now suddenly she has pink flippers. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, um, if you want to actually change the, um, the scuba gear and the uh, snorkeling gear as well, uh, I have a tutorial on uh, how to do that with the Master Controller mod. Maybe I'll leave an annotation if you uh, haven't seen that already. Because, I don't know, it's not like the most annoying thing in the world, but it's a nice little thing that you can change. Especially like with my sims, how they tend to have like a dominant color, and then they tend to wear that color with most of their outfits. Ooh, she found a magnificent scallop shell. Oh yeah, that's another way to make money, there we go. Oh, that's only 13 simoleons. Maybe we'll just keep that one somewhere. Just as a decoration. Ew. The fumes rising from there. Can we put- oh yeah, we can have it like right by our computer. Okay. Alright, that's- that works out really well, actually. Um... Oh. <laughs> She's feeling stir-crazy from not leaving... from not leaving home. Well, there isn't much else to, uh, to see, really. Unless you go to the beach lot again. We haven't used uh, the viewpoint either, but, um... I think we'll actually do that in the next part. I'm just gonna have her water these plants, and, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this part up now, so, um... Yeah, as always, uh, thank you for watching and links to my social networking pages like Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram and all that good stuff is in the description below. And uh, be sure to leave uh, a like, a comment, or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you really like my channel and my videos. And I hope saying that isn't what made her feel ill. That would suck. But uh, yeah, I will talk to you in the next video, guys, and have a great day. Hmm, you don't think you should weed that plant first, Tracy? Okay. Yeah, gardening skill level 6. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh wow, what kind of noise is that?